So this question was asked in uh, last week All India mock examination. I want all of you to try this uh, question. Yes, so somebody says I don't uh, know how where to start. Okay, I'll tell you. See, this is the starting point. Okay, see the thing here is that see T and K are sitting facing opposite direction of each other. Now this should be your starting point. Now another thing that they have, uh, let's say what they have confused us here is that that is if one is facing west, the other is facing east and vice versa. Just don't take that into consideration. T and K are facing in opposite direction of each other are sitting uh, facing in opposite direction of each other. That should be your starting point. Try to place T and K and then start solving. See, yes, again, you will need this sentence to fix T and K. See, look at these two sentences. T and K are sitting uh, facing uh, opposite direction of each other. So you want to place T and K. Now, where do I place? Do I place them in here or in the corners? That's what the next thing that you have to look. For that, use this. The one who teaches physics does not sit in the middle of the sides and the one who uh, teaches physics faces E, use this and one more line is there. Mm, e sits between T and the one who teaches economics. So using these lines you should be able to start. So okay, what is given here? There are eight teachers sitting around a rectangular table. Uh, all of them are facing uh, towards the center ex except three persons. These are the persons. Now so there is a rectangular table. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. Okay. Now, next what is given? The one who, t now that is there. Now you have to first read through whatever is given here. Then look at this statement. What are they saying? The one who teaches physics does not sit at the middle of the sides. So the one who teaches physics is not sitting somewhere here, right? So he is basically sitting in the corners. So I'm just going to assume that the person who's teaching physics, okay, is going to sit here. If this is the person who is teaching physics, who is he sitting opposite to? Next statement. It is said that the one who teaches physics faces E. So what does that mean? Physics is also facing inside and the person who is E is also facing inside. They are facing each other. So this is going to be my E. Then next what is given? Uh, e sits between T and the one who teaches economics. So Definitely T has to be here, right? T has to be somewhere here. That much I've got, okay? See, I know T is going to be, that is T is on the center. It's not outside, right? It's not in the corners. T is in the center, okay? So, so how I started it was this much information I got from whatever is given. So what do I do? I draw this. Okay, now they have also given that T and K are sitting facing opposite to each other. See, I can keep T and K either here or here. That is up to me. You can choose. You want to keep it here, you keep it here. Because in this question, nothing like uh, the person who is sitting on the longer side of the table, shorter side of the table, nothing like that is given. Just they have mentioned there is a rectangular table, that's all. And these people are sitting towards the center facing opposite to each other. You are free to choose whichever side you want. I am going to choose this for T and K. Okay. Now I have two possibilities, right? Now what are the two possibilities? See, there is uh, the person E, correct? The person E is sitting between T and the person who is teaching economics. So for that, I am taking into consideration two possibilities. Okay. See, T and K, they are sitting opposite to each other. One possibility is E is here. Okay. E is here. Another possibility is E is here. So if E is here, this has to be economics, right? And if E is here, this has to be economics. So now I have two cases which I have to look at. Okay, so these are the two cases that we have. Then we know that this E is sitting opposite to the person who is teaching physics and they are facing each other. So if this is E, then this is physics. And these two people are sitting opposite to each other, facing each other. Then next what is given? Next statement says that N is to the immediate left of the one who teaches physics. So if you look at this case, N is to the immediate left of the one who teaches physics means N has to come here, which is not possible because already K is sitting here. So this case is wrong. So this has to be your correct case. So this is going to be N. N is sitting to the immediate left of physics. So you have now fixed N also. Then uh, what else do you have? T and K are 
sitting facing in opposite direction of each other e sits between t and the one who teaches economics the one who teaches max sit on the immediate left of p and the one who teaches biology the one who teaches physics faces e okay now uh, see here it is given the one who teaches polity sits on the immediate left of t so this has to be polity you have fixed this also now uh, whom are the people you are left with see p is not an immediate neighbor of k or t so p is not an immediate neighbor of k or t means this is the only place where i can fix p i can't keep p here because p is not an immediate neighbor of t i can't keep p here because p is not an immediate neighbor of k so the only logical place where i can place p is here so p is there now next what are they saying uh now look at the information that is given about w i mean max see the one who teaches max sit on the immediate left of p and the one who teaches biology so the person who is teaching max is sitting close to the person p okay so either max has to be here or here but what have they said the one who teaches max uh sit to the left of p and to the left of the person who teaches biology so let us consider the first case okay first case i am going to consider that this is going to be biology okay if this is biology then this is going to be max correct now what have they said the person who was teaching max should sit to the left of p and to the left of the person who teaches biology but if this is the case this max is sitting to the right of the person who is teaching biology so this is not a valid case so i eliminate that so now where is the other uh, possible place where i can place max max definitely has to be here and so this has to be biology so that also you have free now so this is the person who is teaching max and this is the person who is teaching biology and one more thing that you can conclude here is that so this person is sitting to the left means he has to face inside right only if he is facing inside max will be to the left then what else is given uh, the one who teaches max sit on the immediate left of p and the to the one who teaches biology that is done now they have given that r and k are neighbors of each other and it is also given that r and v does not teach max so which should be r see either r can come here or here because r is a neighbor of k but i know that r is not going to teach max so this has to be my r so i have put r here now again v also does not teach max so this has to be v and whom are we left with this is w so w also you have fixed next what is given here uh, it is given that look at hindi and english okay hindi and english see what is said about hindi and english uh, there are two statements that are given about hindi and english r and k are neighbors of each other while neither they nor their neighbors teach english or hindi so r and k is here so their neighbors will also not teach english or hindi so where should english and hindi come so n cannot teach english or hindi so english and hindi had to be have to be taught between t and e so we don't know who is teaching english and who is teaching hindi so you have to see here okay so uh, definitely what is n going to teach n is going to teach spanish because that are the only subjects that you are left with right these two have to teach hindi and english now we don't know who is teaching hindi and who is teaching english then what is given here the one who teaches hindi sits third to the left of w so now i have to fix the position of w and see which direction w is facing assume that w is facing inward so if w is facing inward uh, which is the left of w uh the one who uh, teaches hindi sits third to the left of w correct so if w is facing inwards third to the left will be 1 2 3 here here already n is there teaching spanish so i can very clearly say that w is not facing inward and w is facing outward so this is the position of w and the person who is teaching hindi is sitting third to the left of w means 1 2 3 1, so t has to teach hindi so if t is hindi what should e teach e should teach english so this is your final arrangement okay so there are three people who are facing outwards that we have already got that is t k and w so whoever is there remaining all of them will face inward so this will be the final arrangement that you get so i hope it is clear now let us uh, look at the questions who among the following teachers biology 
So what is the answer for this? Who teaches biology? K teaches biology. How many persons sit between V and W? How many persons sit between V and W? Three people sit between V and W. How many persons sit between V and W? Three persons sit between V and W, correct? Yeah. Which of the following group of persons are uh, facing away from the center? Which of the following group of persons are facing away from the center? K, T and W. K, T and W are facing away from the center. N teaches which of the following subjects? N teaches Spanish. Option E. Who among the following sits third to the left of the one who teaches polity? Who among the following sits third to the left of the one who teaches polity? Third to the left, that is going to be P. Yes. What is the answer for the next one? P. Correct. Okay. 